welcome to The 100 Show, where all week we've been throwing a party for our BBC 100th birthday. And a big thanks to Sir David Jason for the introduction. Now, as you can see, we've got Jules Holland and his Rhythm and Blues Orchestra for the party tunes. An incredible medley of your favourite BBC themes is coming up. And yes, that is Matt Allwright. He has to get in on the act, see? But he is chatting to Jules later on, too. Plus, getting us out on the dance floor... Now, Strictly and Jewels are part of a long history of dance and music at the BBC, which is why there was only one man who could be our party planner for the BBC's 100th birthday. It's Craig Revel Horwood! Oh, yeah, darling. Hello, Hello, Craig. How are you? Mwah. 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 Lovely to see you. I love an air kiss, darling. I love an air kiss. <laughs> and... It's lovely to have you here, obviously. And as the only judge who's been on Strictly since the beginning, you think it's so beloved. Honestly, down to me, isn't it? And my beautiful <laughs> star. Yes. No, 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 really. It really has won the heart. And it did back in the May of 2004, filling audiences ever since. May 2004. And who doesn't love dance, darling? Well, nobody cheers it all up, doesn't it? Exactly. Uh, in a moment, we'll be taking another trip down TV memory lane with one show viewers who appeared on... Original SAS. Remember. That looks incredible. It does. does, it really does. And you can tell us your favourite BBC shows or send questions for tonight's guest to all the usual places. Now then, what questions, because you're the host now, so what questions are you going to ask Amy? To know what's going through their minds when it comes... I think we all know that. I think they're terrified. <laughs> Chance to ask them, though, later and see what they say. Well, whilst, whilst those two have a think about a good answer to my question, let's find out what it was like to get a prize on Blankety Blanks, receive a Blue Peter badge and dance awkwardly on top of the pops. Oh, I'd I... love to win a food trolley, I... darling. A I mean, they don't offer those sort of things anymore. I think he's come back into fashion and Sir Terry's microphone. Isn't it? Um, thank you to everybody for sharing their stories. And of course, Craig, we had to dig out your first appearance on the BBC. I know. It didn't get off to a great start because our lovely Sir Bruce. He didn't seem to remember your name. No. <laughs> so, oh, Craig Devell Horwood. <laughs> Devil. Dull, Devel. Dull, oh, dull. No, he didn't know my name then. No, but, but he kind of predicted what was coming, didn't yeah, he? With a... He sort of did, as he a matter of fact. So... But it was a wonderful first show. I mean, we had absolutely no clue what we were doing. We were just making it up as we were going along. But uh, it's turned out really brilliant, and I'm so proud to be part of it. Yeah, I bet. And it's lovely to see how it's grown. But oh, the completely. bones of it were there right from the beginning. Yeah, they had to move me from that end because Brucey had to go down the line and uh, I was always getting booed. So he said, we can't do that, can't do that. We need... No, Craig needs the up the other end. And I've been up that end. And then, then it ends, ends on, on a high. Positive. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Now, as well as the BBC celebrating its centenary, Jules Holland is celebrating his own landmark, 30 years at the BBC. So let's head over to Matt Allwright in South End, who's with Jules right now on his UK at all. <laughs> Darling, we have got to make that happen. 100%. We'll see which classic theme tunes Jules has chosen later. But one that, that featured last week on Strictly was, of course, James and Amy's dance disaster to EastEnders. <laughs> was not a dance I, disaster, no, darling. Not that all was absolutely of it. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> that was I'm fine. only joking, guys. Now, James, it could be a bit awkward having Craig here, etc. Score tonight now. I thought it was good. He was encouraging to... Sometimes a little subjective. I'm hanging on to it. <laughs> I remember one of them was stiff, darling, wasn't was it? it? Um, yeah. And you were definitely improving. Feel about that. Do you think you're seriously improving in yourself? Uh, the, the confidence is definitely going out. There were moments where I was like, I've done that. So, like, everything changes. You know what it's oh. like. The nerves yeah. kick in. And... Yeah. Sometimes you can have a bad one and then it sets you on a good path. To the quick step that you did, uh, amazing, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, Absolutely was amazing. fantastic, spectacular. Yeah. Difficult to represent, you know, so, yeah. you know, with that theme tune. Definitely, I mean, and it's never been done. It's really. a big deal. And if it's a big deal personally, it's a big deal on that dance floor for sure. Let off. It's hard, yeah. isn't it? Do you ever, Amy, as judges, I mean, I'm sure you do, and you would never, I don't think, you know, in the most disagree. Are you feeling sometimes like... So after the show, I know that. <laughs> it's true. It is true. Craig. I can't do a Welsh accent, but I know. She slams down on me. Yeah. yeah. On a Saturday night. Yeah, yeah definitely. And what's, what's going through both your mother 
to me, this is the question. Well, I we all know the answer I to really that. I really wanted to ask, <laughs> you know, because I don't give anything away. I have a poker face, whereas Shirley might stand up and applaud, Mopsy yep. scream, the judges show their emotions. I very rarely do. And I just want your mind when you're stood there waiting for me to speak. I never forget. He doesn't like it. But I try to make you see ever end. Then, well, yeah. I'm there with my hat on as a judge, you know. Yeah. And exactly. that's what I say to you tonight. What keeps it interesting? Absolutely. Exactly. Good. And you deserve that. Find out if James and a <laughs> 650 on BBC One and I play. I'm nervous for you now too. <laughs> um, so that's Saturday's TV Soda. Then on Sunday, there's a huge night of shows on BBC One, more strictly, of course. A brand new series of Top Gear and the new drama from Peaky Blinders creator Stephen Knight is called SAS Rogue Heroes. It's about the original members of the SAS, including the now 102 year old Mark Sadler, who's played by House of the Dragon. Here's the emotional moment that they met for the very first time. What a lovely film. It looks SAS. Like it's going to be amazing. Doesn't it? SAS yeah. Rogue Heroes starts on Sunday, 9 pm, BBC One and iPlayer. Thanks to Jane. We'll be expecting, of course, a great. Thank you, Craig. You've been absolutely wonderful. People I've have loved, loved having you. And uh, speaking of great performances, for the BBC's 100th birthday, Jules Holland has put together an incredible medley of your favourite BBC theme tunes. You're going to love it. Take it away, Jules.